Happy enough. Nomad Outpost started up. Manual with a Temple of Triumph. Take a look at the top card. That one's going to stay on top. We'll go Logan's way. Logan will draw. Bloodstain Meyer, kick it back. Atlanta. It seems like a really tough matchup to mulligan in because there's just so much trading. Though Manuel having a couple Scrylands here is helpful. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the kind of matchup, maybe, depending. It's weird because I want to say that Read the Bones is probably good in this matchup, but, you know, if you play Read the Bones on turn three and your opponent plays like a Goblin Rabble Master, you're probably in some trouble. I think it's the type of card where if you had one copy in your sideboard, it would be great. And uh, assuming how much removal you have, if you have a bunch of copies of Chain of the Rock, so you have cheap ways to break serve, it can be pretty sweet, but... I agree, it is risky. You can't load up, I don't think, with three or four copies of it. Because I don't know if that's the way to break the mirror, and I'd be surprised if it was. Let's see what we got here. All three colors of mana online here for Logan. This is Rebel Master. Trigger, Goblin. Showtime, in for one. And as you mentioned, in trouble. Needs to have a removal spell now for the game to really even continue. Yep. And then Manuel still needs a lot of help. Yeah, Lightning Strike, Magma Jet, something like that, Chain of the Rocks. There's a mountain, in case it is Chain, Seeker of the Way. Cross your fingers, I suppose. Yeah, this is a, I mean, this turn could get really bad for Manuel here if there's a removal spell. Yeah, I have a feeling there is one. Yep, Glare Heresy. That'll get the job done. Trigger, it's a pretty big beat down. And obviously this is some of the appeal of Goblin Rabble Master, right? It's because you know, if you're able to have a draw like this, it just closes the game out before it even starts. You get a couple wins on the house. Yeah, a couple freebies. This is, this is just simple and to the point. I think Quartling Outburst was the draw. Orling Outburst does a, allow for a pretty good turn here of Outburst plus Stoke the Rabble Master. Yep. Block and all three goblins and Stoke the Rabble Master. I mean, he may just have to... I think he may just have to use the Stoke now, take the two points of damage, and keep one less goblin on the table. Maybe. Possibility of that. But in any case, Manuel definitely needs to start casting two spells a turn here to be able to catch back up to this game. It might be bad that I just want to be super greedy because, you know, if I'm manual, I'm already on Mulligan at five, so I probably have to take, I, I feel like I would have to take risks like that, which is hopefully get to block all three Goblin tokens and then stoke the Rabble Master. Now, that could be an incorrect assessment of things. He's just going to stoke now instead. I don't, I, I don't love that one just because I feel like playing Hordling Outburst that turn is just free. Yeah. I, I, at this point, I actually want to double check Manuel's hand to make sure it's there yeah. because it seems like Pretty straight upside play. Yeah, now there's a wingmate rock. And now, I don't know if there's any coming back from this at this point. I mean, if there's a hand, and hostility is kind of looming, and he does have two, oh, excuse me, Victor has two. Yeah, there's no copies. Yeah. Uh, Manual's deck is much more aggressive. Yep. And Victor's deck a lot more mid rangey. We're going to be headed back Manuel's way. He'll draw a card. But Wingman Rock is a lot to overcome. This is part of the reason that people like Wingman Rock in this deck is you're able to do stuff like this. Now, there's a Stormbreath Dragon, which can hold the fort a little bit, but I think we're going to see everything attack anyway. This could also just be Crackling Doom for Xaxes. Don't think that Victor has one at this point. I mean, his hand's full of spells. It's it's pretty tough for this not to be lethal. Everybody's coming in. Trigger the wingmate rock. Gonna gain some life. That might just be full of creatures. Oddly enough. Yeah, I like blocking there. Take five, go down to five. Follow up. Oh, okay. Sure, yeah. also fine. Pretty good follow-up. 
Manuel will draw a card. But as you mentioned, his deck is a lot more aggressive than some of the other Mardu builds. And as a result, he just doesn't have the tools to fight this sort of thing. Yeah, he needs to have a, a flyer or a removal spell to proceed. I don't think he does, and that's going to be it. Victor Logan going to win this match. He moves on to 6-1. and one. He's the winner of the Mardu Midrange Mirror. And again, his deck is more, you know, more slanted towards being mid-range to play a longer game based off of his sideboard where he has in hostilities and read the bones and Chandra's as well. So he also has an Elspeth hiding out on the board too. So congratulations to him. He's six and one now.